everybody, welcome back to Crazy Gamer Games and Model Making. Today I'm working on the um, Bird Panther here. Working on the tracks, got the tracks back going on here. Right now I got a piece of double sided sticky tape, or double sided, or not double sided, to be a 18 mil tape sticky side up, and then I have two pieces of, I guess it's three or five mil sticking down the ends. And basically I'm taking my tracks I've already cut off. And I'll get to that in a minute. And I'm just taking my file here and I'll file in the edge where it come off, comes off the sprue, making sure that's nice. And then there's little nibs from where we cut the plastic off of the guide horns. Filing that real gently so the guide horns don't break off. And then, boom, I got my, my track link done. And I'll show you, I'll put that in place right now. So. And then I'm just going to, I just stick that in place like that. And I'll show you on the, now this is a correction sheet for um, step 15 of the tracks. So I am using the correction sheet. I couldn't find what the difference was. But I basically have all this and this up here to these four. So I just need this section here, the one individual link here. A four and then one, two, three, four, five, six. That's all I need, and then I'll be able to wrap it around the jig here, which I already have on here. And I have it taped to the jig because it's much easier. This part was tricky. I had to wrap it and let it sit, and then it was in four pieces, and then I had to tack those pieces together this morning. So I still have the tape on it. This is a process, it takes time. I don't, I enjoyed it, it was interesting, but this way I'm doing it, trying to just stick them on the jig and going around didn't work for me. I had to put the tape down, sticky side up, and then place the individual, individual links on there. So while I clean up these last four here on camera, I'm going to talk about what is going on with the channel. We are starting a new um, build series, and you guys are voting on what it is I get to, what I is I am building. Today is Monday, the 29th of July, 2019, and it is the last day of voting. You can vote by leaving a comment below in this video. Um, all participation, people who participate along in the build series will be qualified to win um, one of two prizes. There'll be a prize during the middle of the build series. It'll be a box, a grab bag box of my favorite modeling supplies. And then it'll be, and then at the end of the build, there'll be a giveaway for uh, one of three different models, depending on the model that is chosen. The, there's four models to choose from. There is a 148th scale Typhoon by Edward, um, British aircraft from World War II. It has, um, it's an Edward kit. It's a Hasawal, Haskagawa plastic kit. Um, it's kind of old. It's got some issues. I know it has some fish issues, but it comes with the Edward's um, upgrade set, some resin pieces, and some photo etch. And then I also have, that's that, it's a 48th scale. And then I also have a 132nd scale Tempest. Uh, I believe it's the Mark V from Special Hobbies with the big end upgrade set. No resin on that, just the, just the photo etch upgrades like wing, um, wing flaps and arm bit and interior cockpit and whatnot. And that's 132nd scale. And that is a Tempest from Special Hobbies. And then the final two, um, one is from Trump. They're both from Trumpeter, but they're from their 116th scale series. So they're they're pretty large. The first one is a King Tiger, 116th scale King Tiger. And it can be built with either the Hen Shell turret or the Purse, Purse, Porsche turret. Wow. Use your words today. Um, and I believe you can build both turrets and have them interchangeable from what I've flipped through the instructions. 
but it's 1 16th scale, it's, it, it's huge, it's, I would say it's almost two feet long, probably two feet with the barrel of the gun. And the last one is one that we would be doing a lot of customizing on, it's a 1 16th Jagd Tiger by Trumpeter. It is um, their German tank destroyer, what Germany used to destroy tanks. It is massive, and um, there's there's some corrections needed in the kit, which I plan on doing. Um, that I plan on there'll be some scratch building um, to spruce up the interior because it does have a full interior. Um, it has an armament loadout, which will be getting a special treatment. It's got photo etch, not as much photo etch as other kits, but um, it's gonna. It, I plan on if we, if the Jag Tiger gets picked, I plan on doing a lot of extra upgrades and making it period correct. I also have um, a lot of reference books on the Jag Tiger. I have, um, there was a book written on building the, the, the Trumpeter's 160 TL Jag Tiger that I have. So if you vote for that, you'll get a lot more scratch building and corrections and customizing of the kit. On the King Tiger, it's basically just going to be a build. And on any of the aircraft, I've never built an aircraft, so that could be just comedy hour. So, I don't even know how long that would go. I'm hoping I could do it. But we'll see. But you can vote below. There's also a voting video where I talk about all um, four kits. There's also a review for each of the four different kits on my channel that you can check out. And you can see what's in the boxes, basically. Some of them, I show you all the sprues. I show you all the sprues, but some of them, I take them out of the bag, and you can see the detail. Um, today is the last day of voting. Um, I will be announcing the winner um, tomorrow on the 30th of July, 2019. And the build will officially start on August 1st, 2019, and run however long it takes. I plan on doing the first giveaway grab bag giveaway um in time for you to receive it by christmas that is my plan that is my intentional plan and then to qualify for the the giveaway all you have to do is participate in the build videos you don't have to build anything along you could get a uh, the same model kit and build it along with me if you, we pick one of the 1 16th scales you could build a smaller scale like a 135th scale because TACOM makes 135th scales of the King Tiger and the Jag Panther that are basically the same but smaller and they have full interiors. If you want to build one of those along, you'll be able to ask me questions. If you run into any issues, we will be able to work together on different aspects of it. Okay, so here's what I got. I got these track pieces that I need and I am going to temporarily set them with some Tamiya. Um, Thin, extra thin. So I'm just going to put them in these joints right here. Just going to brush it along. Not too much. And you don't want to brush it along the four that were glued like I just did. Okay, so. And, you know, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, you know, dislike. If you want to hit the thumbs down, tell me why. It's about the lighting. I, I'm aware of that, and I'm working on it. I'm hoping to fix it this week. Uh, I think I need more directional light or overall light. I'm not quite sure. I don't know anything about lighting. So I'm hoping. I'm just trying things. I'm hoping I can fix the, the lighting issue. Okay, so we have this ready to go. Now that needs to sit a couple minutes, and while it does that, I'll show you the Burnt Panther so far. Let's take a look here. So here's what we got. We did some weathering on the inside with some big um, interior wash enamel weathering. Um, some gunmetal pigments. My first time using those. They are enamel, so I didn't quite know how to handle that, but I think I got it solved now. I put some fuel stains around the fuel, which I didn't realize it was shiny and I should have just um, put it in certain spots, but this is this is learning. This is my learning tank. 
So this is how I'm going to learn how to do everything. And then, because I mostly use all acrylic washes, and stains, and things like that. This is my first time using um, enamel or anything by MIG. There's a review of the stuff I used by MIG on my channel. Also, a little bit of how I did this. And then I also did some greasy stains on the engine. I have decided to put the engine inside the, um, the Berg Panther. It's going to go in like that. It's going to have its water reservoir in there. And then I have some piping that I've painted up with the silver. It's going to go right in there like that. And there's some more hoses and whatnot. And then I have this air cleaner for this side that I have to dry brush still. This is going to get a different kind of weathering, more of a rusty, rusty, unprotected weathering. And then I have these two pieces that I just brush painted these because I wasn't getting the airbrush out for two parts. So that's that. And then I got the top side. I don't have the photo etch on. I have glued a copper grab bar on here because the plastic one was flimsy and I definitely would have broken it. So I'm going to paint this under where the photo etch is, the, the German red brown, and then glue the photo etch on, and then when I paint the final color over the top, it'll still show a little red brown. So it was like they put the grills on at the factory, and it wasn't painted the final color yet. So, and then the underside, I'm just going to spray German red brown, and then I'm going to wait until it's on the model, like so, which is is a pretty nice fit. It does it do, it does click in and it does it does fit nice despite all the issues that I caused myself. And then this is going to go on the back. It slips in the back there like that, and that closes everything up. I know it closes up the engine, so I would like to leave the top off. I'm going to see. I'm, like, I'm going to put it on last minute. And I'm gonna maybe I can cut these pins off and it can just sit on there like that and then you can pull it off to see all the work I've done. And <laughs> same thing with the back cover, so that way if I, if the back cover can come off, then you can see more of the engine that I that I did in there. So that's kind of what I'm looking at. I really hate to put all this work in. I know some people will think, oh, it's not even that good of a job, but I did it. I'm proud of it. I'm learning. It's the best I can do. So at this point, I'm getting better every day. So this next build along should be great. Make sure you vote. All right, so this is set for a bit. So we're going to, first, I'm going to cut this tape free. So I only have to work with a little bit of it. I like to use a new blade. Always use new blades, guys. Tip of the day. Okay, so I have this, and it goes. So I'm going to get this back just a smidge at the top here. And I am going to plug it in to that section, leaving the tape on and holding it there. Actually, I'm going to tape it back down. Okay, and I drop it on the ground, well, on the table. And I'm going to, actually, I'm going to cut another piece of this tape off here. Right, it needs to be sharp. So I'm going to add it to this. See what I'm doing. I'm going to connect these. I'm very heavy handed, so it doesn't help me on this area. And I'm going to connect it and hold it. And then I'm going to form it around. Form it around there. And then I'm going to check to make sure my long piece fits. I 
which it does. So, now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to tape, a piece of tape, hold that on. going to go in here with where the joints are where I just glued up and I'm going to put some extra thin. Make sure it's connected there. I don't particularly want to glue it to the idler wheel. just want to reinforce where the glue, where the bend is. Now I'm not going to mess with this anymore today. I'm going to sit it right there out of the way and I'm not going to mess with it and that is the tracks I am going to let that dry for most of the day then I'm going to pull the tape off and I'm going to reinforce the whole thing with extra thin and let it dry for two maybe three days along with the other one I'm going to build the other uh, the other side of the track off camera and I'm going to let it dry for two three days and then I am going to show you them um, primed and we'll do the weathering process at the bench with a brush I'm still learning how to use pigment powders and um, I've been using washes to fix them but I have picked up the correct thinner I believe to clean off some of that enamel uh, wash so I have some of this tester thinner which literally look how small this is two dollars this is ridiculous, the size of this. This is all the hobby store had with the Michaels. This is insane. This is it. This is little itty bitty things are thinner. I've never seen it so hard to get thinner. You can't get it on Amazon. You can't get it anywhere. And if you do find something on Amazon, it takes like a month to get to you. This is distilled turpentine for cleaning oil paints. Um, I'm going to be doing a oil filter on um, the outside to try, try my luck at it. I have a set for German color, for German camouflage, so we're going to try it. So I got that, distilled turpentine for cleaning that, and then I got this enamel thinner to possibly clean up some of this interior with a um, cotton bud. Actually, we'll, we'll got you on here. We'll do it real quick and see what happens. We'll come in there. All right, so I'm going to open this. Doing this live on camera, I never tried this. I couldn't ruin the whole bottle. Would dip my dip my my cotton into enamel thinners, wipe some of it off. Then I'm gonna come in here. And I'm just gonna get some of this off of the wall here. Bring it down to side get some of that off of there leave it in the cracks and crevices okay that works pretty good that's um that's actually surprisingly easy I got some pointed cotton buds so okay that 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 that's making me feel better that looks 100 percent better i didn't know how this stuff would come off you know a day and a half later i, I think i washed this yesterday morning or a day later before that there's a video on it i wonder if it will do this let me try one of these pointed ones let me see if it will do some of this fuel stains that i got on there Okay, that's taking off the paint. Yeah, I'm not doing that. You just got to go light with that, people. That's starting to take off my primer. I don't know why. If I'm 
I'm supposed to seal all this with a varnish before I do this enamel. Please someone let me know in the comments because I don't want to do this and ruin my bottle like I just took the paint off of my, my tank right there. So, yeah, please let me know because it didn't take off anything in the middle. It just took off the, the enamel wash. So, alright, so that's, that's basically that. Nothing real exciting. The tracks. Um, talked about the build along. Make sure you guys go and vote. Um, announcements will be on tomorrow, and the build will start on the 1st of August, 2019. For Crazy Gamers Games and Bottle Making, you guys have a fantastic day.